We know right now that for the sixth year in a row that gift cards are the number one gift item that people want. The National Retail Federation says that gift cards are huge this year, just like they were in the previous five years. So I think that if you're going to get gift cards for somebody, you've really got to know the lowdown on gift cards. First of all, realize that general all-purpose gift cards, like the Visa or MasterCard type of gift cards, those might not offer as much value to the recipient as do a specific card store. That's because the general purpose cards typically have more fees attached to them. So you, you probably do better off, and the recipient will probably do better off getting a card that's from a very specific store, one that they like to patronize and where they like to shop. Additionally, you should think about ways to take advantage of gift cards in ways that might not have occurred to you. One is that, did you realize that there are gift card exchanges where you can buy gift cards for up to 30% off of the face value of the card. So in other words, if you buy somebody a gift card for $100, or at least a face value of $100, you might be able to buy that for actually $70. You give it to the recipient, they don't even know that you saved $30 off the purchase, but it's certainly a win-win because they get a gift card worth $100 and you only paid 70 bucks for it. Additionally, some of us have gift cards that have been laying around from last holiday season or from you know, our birthdays or from some other event. You should think about maximizing all the gift cards you get, of course, and those that you give so that you don't waste it. Retailers actually count on a certain percentage of people who either buy or use gift cards not exactly maxing out and using all the full value of those cards. So you don't want to waste that. That's essentially sort of throwing away money.